hello everyone you welcome back to my youtube channel hope you guys are doing great okay today's class is a very very interesting one as usual i'll be designing a flyer for um a youth program this beautiful flower you're looking at right now on your screen is designed 100 percent using the smartphone yes 100 percent on smartphone it is very 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 easy i want you to watch this video digest it practice and if you have any question please always feel free to ask me i would be more than willing to assist you with whichever questions you have okay without wasting much of our time let's get started okay so i'll be working quickly on the background so i'll be clicking on this guy here uh, I already downloaded um images we're gonna be using for the background already so i'm going to where i have my download then i'll be picking this guy yes this is the background we will be using for today's class okay so um like i said earlier it's a youth program right so the first thing you'll be um watching out for is um the title of the program um followed by the church logo um the time the date and every other thing the venue okay good so let's quickly edit this let's copy that then let's edit this so like i said is a youth program so i'm just going to be writing um youth youth night so that is actually what um um the um the theme is youth night okay so let's change the font let's work on the font i want to use this font okay perfect so let's just expand that very quickly and place it somewhere around here so i'll be changing this one as well okay um let's use um this font yes good perfect so let's work on the color very very quickly so i'll be using the gradient color okay so on your own this is what you're going to be seeing right so maybe you want to now change it I want to change the color of um, the gradient you can just work with whichever one you you like okay so this is the gradient so this is the one that will be under this guy here so you can just change it let's see okay then click on this then you can change it to let's say yellow so you can just move this like this you see that so that is how you can get your gradient it is very 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 simple it is not difficult at all okay now you can use the same for this as well since you already have a gradient you can just use the same for it okay so let's give these guys stroke so that they can be you know more bold perfect so i'm going to give it a shadow as well you see that effect looking all all nice and yummy okay um let's give this a stroke as well so give it a stroke let's increase the stroke width and let's give it some shadow perfect good so let's just edit that very quickly so um the people that will be anchoring this program 
you have to type out their names as well so it's a team the name of the team is called dream chasers so you type that out as well it is very very important you give um your audience the um you provide your audience with every necessary info it goes a long way trust me so there i want to use this so i'll be placing it somewhere around here I can just use my position to to you know position it well to position it well okay so let's just copy this guy very quickly and edit it so um the name of the team that will be anchoring is dream chasers this is somewhere around here let's work with the font as well let's see what we have here <clears throat> Okay, I think I'm okay with this. I'm okay with that. Good. So I'll be placing it somewhere around here. Nice. Okay, so let's bring in the um, the pictures of the ministers. Let's bring them in from my gallery. Okay, what I did was that I downloaded the picture. So in form of um the JPEG. The JPEG usually have... Um, the background with it so after downloading with the jpeg i um i removed the background making it a png so um there are videos on how you can remove background from photos on my youtube channel so if you are new to my youtube channel you can always um check through check through the um check through the um videos and learn how to remove background it is very 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 easy it is not difficult at all trust me this is not difficult at all so what you just need is practice all these pictures actually add backgrounds initially so you can see the way i move the background look and it's like a professional way of removing background very very neat very very neat okay now you can see that um these two guys are overlapping um this first guy okay the thing is um in pixel lab right when you bring in maybe a picture an image or you type a text the one you type initially automatically goes to the back while the ones the subsequent ones come they come forward in such a way that this one which i brought first is being overlapped by this while these two is being overlapped okay this was the one i brought first this was one i brought first right then i brought this in i brought this in okay so um this is going to stay then this one is going to overlap this and this we overlap this two. I don't know if you get the logic. So whichever one you bring first falls to the back, while the subsequent ones come forward. Okay, but the good news is we have um we have a function key here, which we can use to either send um text or images to the back, or you can actually bring use it to bring it to the front. These two guys right here to front and to back so if you if i click on this okay i want to bring this to front right i want to bring this guy to the front this particular guy i want to bring it to the front once i select it that way so i will just click on to front and it automatically comes forward leaving to these two guys behind so i can usually send it to the back okay let me send this to back mm -hmm. or you can bring it to front very 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 easy easy peasy it is not difficult at all trust me so let's just work on these two guys very quickly so i can use my grid to this guy here i can use it to um to work on my alignment okay let's see this is the head 
Okay, I want both of them here to fall somewhere around his nose. Okay. So I'll just move this guy here to be below here, and this guy will also be below here. Let's just So you have to be very very careful when you're working with this. You don't want to do you don't want to overdo it. So you have to watch out well. Okay. We're making progress. So let's see. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Still working on that. Let's just move this up a bit. Let's move this up a bit. Okay. So let's just move this one up a bit. Okay. It's too low. To come up, okay. So, okay, I think this is this is nice. All right, I think this is nice. We are super good to go. So I can just easily merge the three of them together. Perfect. Do you see that? Good. So I go to where we have our shapes this guy right here so let me just reduce it and expand it that way okay perfect let's bring this up a bit and move this up a bit let's see okay good we're making progress trust me so if you are new to my youtube channel i want you to subscribe to my youtube channel right now because trust me if you are not if you haven't subscribed to this channel you are actually missing like missing 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 a lot so i would like you to subscribe to share this video with your friends like this video and i would also like to um to get the feedback from you let's see if you are able to get it okay the purpose of this video is for you to design something even much more much more beautiful much more nice than what i've actually done so that's actually the um the purpose just to put you through and for you guys to design something much more beautiful okay so let's see so we are typing in um the um the um time for the program so the time is um 12 p.m okay so program starts by 12. still trying to work on the font We're trying to work on the font okay let's just use let's use this guy let's use this guy good so the time is 12 p.m right so i'll be bringing in a clock icon from my gallery if you are able to follow this um video step by step trust me you, by the time you are designing your own you'll be designing something much more so something much more beautiful than this honestly honestly so that's just the gospel truth okay so let's just reduce that a bit reduce this a bit so 
I'll move that closely. Move that that way. Okay, so let's just just take and such a way that okay good so i'm just going to merge both of it together see that so you can just put it somewhere around here perfect okay so before that let's um type out this jute night is actually um, a monthly program so this particular one is um the january edition okay january edition so we have this guy right here good so we're gonna be working on the font very very quickly when you are designing your font goes like a long way honestly your font goes a long 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 way the font goes a long way okay so i'm okay with this guy here so i'm placing it somewhere at the top okay um there's something we call um spacing there's something we call spacing so sometimes you just see um some text or maybe like a flyer or um, on the design you see that there is some kind of spacing in between it that you can't just place so let me just show you how you can get that simple trick so you click on this particular guy spacing so you can either space between letters or you can space between words so if you're spacing between words you once you selected what you want to space you can click on word then you can either increase it this way or you decrease it this way. So for words, you see that there is a space, like a very big space in between it. That is, you are, you are, you are um, creating a space. January is a word. Edition is another word. So you want to create a space between the words. So if you don't want to do that, maybe you want to create a space between the letters. Okay, so this is how you can quickly do the trick so you once you select what you want to space you click on letters so you can drag it this way or you drag it that way so it's much more logical you drag it this way okay and you can reduce it place it so this is just how we can get this spacing simple and and classic yes we're making progress so after putting in the time so we're going to type um the date the date so the date is on the sunday 8th of january 2022 okay 2023 sorry so you're just going to type that in very very quickly okay so edit that then you type in Sunday, all in capital letter. Sunday, okay. So let's work on the font. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can still use this. Let's just use. Let's use this. I think I'm okay with this. Sunday. So let me just copy that. Copy and edit. January. All in capital letters. So you bring this guy somewhere around here. You copy and you edit. So it's on the eight. Can use a position key for items that are too small to move so you just place it somewhere around here so 
so you can just merge everything together perfect so you can just reduce it a bit then um go to my gallery and get um, a calendar icon calendar icon okay this guy here so you can just crop it in very quickly so let's change um the color you can see that this calendar is um um color blue but it's a dark blue on another darker background you will see that it's it didn't come out well so the rule when you are dealing with colors is um whenever you have a dark background like this a dark background like this eh, what you're going to be putting on it either text or picture has to be a lighter color a lighter color so if i'm to place this on this it won't show well and it doesn't make sense if someone has to strain before they can see your design okay so let's change the color you can use a bright color you see this red now popping out you can see it very very clearly so it's just a word and opposite thing when you have a dark background you use a bright color when you bright color text or image so but when your image or your text is dark is dark color you use a word a bright color background so it's just a word and opposite um function so let's just put this somewhere around yeah okay i'm making progress good let's reduce it a bit perfect so i'll be merging those guys together very quickly good so you can just place it somewhere around here yeah? somewhere around here yeah? okay um let's work with this so there's something we call um alignment for every design there's a way you align um your um your text in such a way that in such a way that everything is looking very very okay Everything is looking very, 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 very okay. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, I just want to lock everything in place so that they don't move. So I'm locking everything right now. So that they don't move okay so the only thing that will be moving is just this our new text perfect we are making progress okay now back to um, the ministers the ministers have names right so we're going to be typing in their names one after the other okay so we have three ministers there we're typing in their name very quickly Minister Minister Okay so Let's change the um, The font color So giving it um, a stroke giving it a stroke so that it comes up it comes out well let's give it a stroke okay we are good to go so be placing that somewhere around here so since we have three ministers there it won't make sense when you start typing another start typing again so you can just copy it once you copy it you move it move it down so you just drag it down the 
same for the other one as well you copy then you drag down very 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 easy i am sure you are enjoying this class because i am definitely having a time of my life trust me definitely enjoy myself as well so if you are new to my channel like i always say subscribe to my channel because hmm, if you haven't subscribed definitely you're missing a lot trust me i can't over emphasize the fact that you actually need to what to subscribe so the first minister's name is minister john so we'll be dragging that down let's change the color to color black good let's work on the font as well let's just reduce that a bit let's move it okay position let's position it well good so we have a um, minister john and we have um the second minister did minister felix Okay, so let's move that down a bit. Well, the last uh, minister name is um, Minister um, Minister King. So just edit that very quickly. You see what I'm doing? I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not typing it all um I'm not typing it again altogether. I'm just copying what I've actually done before. See, I'm using I'm using the same font, the same size, the same color. So I'm just copying it and editing it to suit my need. So it's just all about working smart. You don't have to work hard, 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 hard. hard. Okay, so that's done good check the spacing perfect check everything everything is looking all right and good okay so now let's continue with our um our venue so the location so let's just type that in very quickly location Okay, so the location of the event. So I'll be changing the color. So let's use a bright red. Good. Let's use a bright red. So let's just copy that. Edit it. So the location is um Admiralty. Admiralty um road opposite bring this area around here so i'll be changing the color i don't want to use red so let's still stick to our white reduce it a bit place it somewhere around here good so i um the um the address is still long so let's just copy and edit like i always do this is graphics graphics design is all about working smart soft work so yano school road the for your uh, <clears throat> excuse me for your um for your address it has to be like very 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 detailed it has to be explicit enough very very detailed in such a way that a first timer can can actually um locate the venue so once when you're getting information from your clients you ask them for um, a detailed address if possible a nearest landmark that can make it um easy for um to locate 
because those people will not they won't talk to the um to the client is the um the, is the person is the graphics designer they're going to talk to that uh -uh. look at what this person design the um the address is not well detailed so if the address has a house number you put it there if it has a street number you put it there so whichever thing that you feel it is um very 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 important and essential you always have to put it there you have definitely have to put it there this is just a demo so that is why it's missing a thing or two so when you are designing yours for a client you want you take notes good okay um this um this program will be done at um the church auditorium which we've actually written the address so you just type in a um, church auditorium at church at church auditorium church auditorium at church auditorium Okay, so let's change the color. Let's change the color very quickly. Let's move it down. Give it um a color black. Good. We are making progress. We are almost done with our design. Look at what we have done. Wow, this is looking so so nice. Like, so let's work on the spacing. Let's just space it out a bit place it somewhere around here okay so let's place it somewhere around here so okay this um this program will be done both at the church auditorium and also it's going to be done virtually so those that can attend um that can attend the church can actually join virtually through their facebook so if, <clears throat> excuse me You'll be typing in the um the um the social media handle for this case it's a Facebook um app so you can just um bring in the Facebook icon okay so they can actually stream it live through their Facebook um social media platform or they can come to the location and join and join um and join it in person so it's actually a two-way thing either through the um, social media or through joining life so okay mm. so um the Social media and do is um at Dream Chaser. So it's very very important. You put um the handle um where the where the um the um where the program will be anchored. All right. Good. Okay. So let's just reduce that. Bring to front. Reduce that. Place it somewhere around there. Work on the color. Give it some kind of um, stroke. Not too much, but it should be there so that it can be bold. Bold, bold, bold. Okay, so this is the social media undo. For those that would like to join the program virtually, whilst those that would like to come to the church can just come to this location. Okay, so we are almost done. But hmm, what if I told you that this um, design is still missing a thing or two? This design is still missing a thing or two. Hmm, you will not believe Okay, so let's just work with the alignment very quickly. Let's make this a bit big. So 
so i'm just trying to work with the alignment okay make it a bit bold bring this here mm -hmm. this is looking more like it youth night good with dream chasers okay now for every design okay if you are designing for a company or a church if it's very very important you put um the logo maybe the church logo or um the company's logo very 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 important like you don't even have to even trade it for anything you don't have to forget so for this church program this is the logo we will be using this particular guy here so we can just reduce it a bit it can be small but it just has to be there like very 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 important it has to be there well look at that look at what we have designed using our smartphone this is very very this is very very lovely this is very very beautiful so i would be expecting you to design yours and you can as well share me um the picture of what you've done i would really really love to hear from you guys if you're new to my youtube channel i want you to subscribe to it right now i want you to share this video don't forget to like this video and i will see you in the next class bye bye